Modern medicine has served us well for more than two centuries. But our over-reliance has brought along many challenges. Increasing antibiotic resistance, adverse drug reaction, and drug dependence are now serious threats to both individual and global health. And when it's come to certain conditions, like insomnia, mental health, dementia, it seems that modern medicine still struggles to offer adequate solutions. This limitation of our medicine toolbox calls for a great, and it is my strong belief that part of the solution lies in revisiting the ancient knowledge with new lenses. I have grown up in a family where my parents regularly use herbal medicine to keep us healthy. Having spent a lifetime dedicated to the forest, my dad is particularly knowledgeable about the healing power of plants. Bom du Peru, Ayapana, Fei Tortue, Bois de Ronde are still common go-to remedies in my house. People have been relying on nature for millennia to treat, to maintain and improve mental illness and physical illnesses. Collectively known as traditional medicines, these pre-scientific practices have been handed down from generation to generation. Today, I will focus on herbal medicines, which is the most popular form of traditional medicines. During my PhD years, I visited the Dillston Physics Garden in Northumberland. Dillston is uniquely grounded in science. Beside each plant, one can find information not only on the traditional and modern medicine uses, but also on the science behind and the active ingredient. The Physics Garden also conducts research and clinical trials into safe medicine uses with a focus on the disorder of brain and the mind. This visit was a defining moment, and it has sent me on an exciting journey exploring the beneficial effect of plant under the lenses of science. Two of my research work is very close to my heart. The first one looked at a natural ingredient that can enhance memory performance for Alzheimer's disease. Currently, there is no cure for Alzheimer. Unfortunately, I cannot disclose the result of the study yet, but it is exciting. The second research work is near our home and investigate endemic mascarine alloes. This alloes has been traditionally used in Mauritius and surrounding islands to treat various ailments. Preliminary data have shown that the mascarine alloes exhibit antioxidant and neuroprotective effect. They were also found to, exhibit, to have a very positive influence on the calcium level in neuronal cells, and calcium is critical for neuronal function. Surprisingly, the mascarine alloes was found to be more neuroprotective than aloe vera, a gold standard in the plant kingdom. Aloe vera has been used for more than 5,000 years and was also a favorite ingredient of the Cleopatra daily skin care. Its numerous applications are backed today by a series of scientific evidence. I found it very promising for Mauritius that our local aloe can aspire to surpass its favorite, famous cousin. The WHO recognized herbal medicine as the first port of call to treat many diseases for millions around the world. Even modern pharmacology looked to nature for inspiration, with 40% of the approved pharmaceutical drug coming from the nature, particularly plant. From morphine, which is considered as the first approved pharmaceutical drug, to statin, artemisine and quinine for malaria, galactamine for dementia, 
anti-tumor medication for, from the Pacific yew tree and uh, flowers from Madagascar. The list is long. So, why does traditional medicine still have a tribal reputation? Well, first because some of the practices are, mis are being misleading sold as cure-all, miracle or supernatural remedies. Secondly, herbal medicine especially has been a trial and error enterprise carried out over millennia. It often relies on self-medication with low visibility on dosage and interaction with other medicines. Unlike modern medicine, herbal therapies do not undergo rigorous testing for efficacy and safety. If today we want a place for our ancient medical heritage in the mainstream medicines, we need to revisit this heritage and seek approval by scientific methods that are behind the success of modern medicine. Now, how do we get there? The dream is big. And for developing countries like Mauritius, it will be best to start small and local. I envision a journey in three stages. Stage one is the setting up of a herbal medicine research institute like the MSRI style, to establish a comprehensive evidence-based database of our local herbal traditional medicine, along with necessary legal framework to best protect research outcome and address biopiracy concern. The government is best placed to spearhead this initiative. Recently, the WHO and the Indian government agreed to set up a global center for traditional medicine. There are, however, very good reasons to have country-specific centers because the research and documentation will drive local R&D, infrastructure, and culture. It is known that the same herb from different regions they are not equally effective. Now, we all love our Mauritian tea, right? But did you know that recently a cosmetic, US cosmetic brand has launched a product which contains a Mauritian tea as their star ingredient? So therefore, in studying our local plant, we can ensure to identify premium ingredient that will give us a competitive edge. The stage two is about to build on the R&D to become a player in the huge herbal therapy and herbal beauty product market. In this phase, it is the key to seek regional collaboration for expanding the resource database and supply chain. Very important also is to invest in technologies that will save research time and money. AI mapping and predictive capability come to mind. Stage three is the upgrading of the R&D infrastructure to enable cutting-edge research in areas where modern medicine does not offer adequate solution. In my opinion, we should target non-communicable and lifestyle diseases such as diabetes, mental, dis mental disorders, or cardiovascular disease. Long way to go. But I have no doubt that the herbal medicine will be part of the mainstream medicines. What we need is a sensible scientific environment to regulate approval. Ancient knowledge, modern technique will be a game changer. The future is bright. We just need to get it right. Thank you. Thank you.